Okay. So I figure I will actually just do this video in case somebody asks me. Or they just want to know how I store it or how to store your grease after you're done deep frying. Because I just made the fish and chip. Well, I didn't just make it. We finished eating, cleaned up. Kids have done their chores. This is cooled down enough I can handle touching it, although I still want a cloth or something. Anyway, I'm not going to bother. As you can see, I have a... I think you can see that anyway. I gotta... let me double check my screen and see that. Slide it back that way. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pour this through here. This is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep pouring it through until all of it has gone through. Need it to go through a little bit more here. So I want to get all of the uckies out of it because there's little bits of the, you know, chunks that fall off in that. I don't want that in here. And I need to do it while it's still relatively warm because I'm using shortening, Crisco, whatever you want to call it. And it does go back, it, it does go back to firm. So you want to do it while it's still warm. But if you're using liquid oil, then you don't have to worry about it quite as much. Okay. It's got a little bit more to go, and then I can deal with my cast iron. And all I'm going to do with this is just wash it out the same way I normally would, other than I will take a paper towel to it and give it a good wipe out a few times, and then I will wash it. Okay, it's got a grab a spatula here. Give me a second. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape it to get all those bits because I want all that stuff out of it. Gonna get this clean out. There we go. There. Now we're gonna let the coffee filter do its job, and then I'll get, bring you guys right back in probably five minutes. Okay. So I did have to put it on some heat just because um. Well, it got a little too cold while I was straining it because I waited a little too long after dinner to do this. Okay, but you can see I've got all of the yuck and gunk out of it. And it's nice clean oil now. I just need a plate or something. This will work. Okay, so I'm just going to set... I don't think I'm really going to get much more out of that. Just going to set that there. I have my mason jar here. Just going to pour this in here. And then I will let this cool down like nice. I don't want to put anything warm in my fridge. So I'll just let this sit out while I finish cleaning up the kitchen. And then I will put it in the fridge. And I will label it used oil. So in this way I know that the next time I want to deep fry something, which might be, you know, next week, could be five months from now, could even be a year. That's how often I deep fry stuff. I don't really do it very often. Um, that's why I do it this way. So in that way I can just take this and I can pop it in the fridge. Because it's cleaned out. It's strained. There's nothing sitting in it. And I'm going to be keeping it refrigerated. So I don't really need to worry about it. So let's write used oil on this. I'm not going to seal it up though. But that's 
that's how I store my oil from my pan when I do any type of deep frying. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again pretty soon. <laughs> Bye.